Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. And couple of folks were discussing about uh, you have taught us uh, how uh, to work with REST Assured and how to create a API automation from scratch, right? But what about the Cucumber BDD? How we can integrate our test cases of REST Assured with Cucumber BDD? In this video, uh, this is going to be a long video, guys, where we will discuss how you can add your REST Assured test cases with the Cucumber BDD. And trust me, it will be uh, worth to watch because I'm going to discuss about very, very important concepts related to BDD, how you can add Cucumber and how basically you can use a dummy API like JSON server and how you can write a basic test case of rest assured with Cucumber BDD. All right. And we are going to use JUnit in this case, but uh, in the next videos, probably we will basically start with Serenity BDD, where we will introduce the Serenity test framework also. All right. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome to the testing academy again. Uh, this is your host promote. Okay, so uh, let's start one by one guys what we are doing. First of all, we are doing API automation. Okay, we will automate an API. What exactly is this API? Okay, so this is the JSON server that we have basically introduced. And if you see this profile, right? Uh, let's do one thing. Let's open the post. Okay, awesome. So if you see, we have a very uh, dummy API that we have created by using the JSON server. I'm going to tell you like how you can create this. And uh, here, if you see that uh, this is a URL, right? And these are a couple of uh, APIs available and we are using JSON server. JSON server is a JSON server is basically a fake API. All right. It's just a fake API. And if you open this one, right, which is this one post right here, what you will see, it's a rest API where you are getting an array. It's an array, right? Because you see square brackets and you are getting one item. One item basically contain ID the title title and the author who is author of it. Okay. Now what we can do is we can basically add more item also in this. All right. Let me add a few of the items by using some STPP methods. Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. So uh, let me create a new collection. Okay. So this is going to be our collection related to post. Okay. And uh, that's it. And here uh, what I will do is I will add a request. Yeah, right and this is the url right if you do a get request simple get request uh what's happening okay and url simple get request you will see that we have a data available okay let me rename this as a get get request this is postman guys uh, that we are using the tool that we are, we are using is postman so if you haven't seen the postman series make sure you watch the api testing with postman you will get to know now uh what we will do is we can create a new request add request Right, and we can change the method to post. And uh, here, in the body, we require a similar item. Right. So here, we I am gonna send a for basically I'm gonna send what we know raw with text JSON, and we don't have to send ID. Let's say title. Let's say Java, and author is Pramod. Pramod. Okay and here we go okay so if you refresh this so our, our api is working fine right now and we can delete we'll delete this one also if we want to so for example i want to delete uh, one and we are getting empty response so if you refresh id one is deleted now right so this is important so we can delete also and let's create again and just replace this and we have a id3 available so id1 is now completely gone so we will do what we will do is uh, we will go one by one what we are doing here is we are basically doing this api automation of rest assured with cucumber bdd right right first of all let's understand what exactly is a cucumber bdd question right so cucumber is basically if you go to the official website right it's a it's uh if you go to right it's right now it becomes it it basically right now it's an open source suite which basically help you to uh, if you say right here it will boost your engineering team to perform the uh, you can use bdd which is behavior and driven development and create your own software as well as test your softwares in this and how B cucumber bdd works is basically uh, you write some of the things in a plain English. If you see eating too many uh, cucumber may not be good for you, right? So this is a scenario. Uh, given Alice is hungry, so this is a conditions, right? When she eats three cucumber, then she is full. So based on this English, right? It's actually a test case, or you can say it's a basically a 
a rule which basically set of things they are doing right it's a behavior that they are doing right and based on this this is actually glue to the code there will be a test file where all the uh, definition this definition will be there present and how ls is hungry how uh, how she is eating it and how she is full all the definition will be available here so behavior driven development that's why we call it behavior driven development let me explain you in a another simple example okay so suppose this is uh, if you see uh, here right this is a very interesting uh, uh, example where the product owner i have user have a conversation and they have some set of scenarios right so they prepare a set of scenarios with the given when then condition okay so given alex is hungry eats three cucumber and he is full now they will give this scenario to the developer now developer will basically what they will do is they will take the feature whatever the behavior they have done and they will write the corresponding code for it and there will the code will be written and you uh, you can execute that code and that scenario will be tested or developed right based on this so cucumber can be used for development as well as for testing purpose also right now we are using for a testing purpose i hope this is clear now uh, more clarity we will get uh, when when we develop our test framework okay so what we are doing in this let's say sure we will basically do one thing we will basically get the call we will basically you uh, automate this thing uh, here whatever the get request is there right all the element that we are getting we will basically uh, verify that and we will verify if it is a node if it's an array or not okay that we will do also in this one all right so how this uh, bdd and one more thing if you are interested in watching uh, and, uh, and if you want to understand bdd more better i would request you to watch this tutorial uh, cucumber javascript and in initially Uh, the three two of three videos right they will explain you about bdd what exactly is a bdd how you basically write, write the gherkin and how uh, what is cucumber actually sweet okay so all this information is available but right now what we are interested in we are interested directly into developing our uh, api api as automation right so let's do one thing let's create a new project okay and we going to use uh, gradle is in this you can use maven also just change your dependencies accordingly okay so i'm going to use uh, gradle in this i'm going to choose java and here i will write cucumber bdd and i'm going to say rest assured demo okay now uh, here the things that you can also change for example let's change it to sd.live this is just a new project that we are creating guys right and it will create it will take a time okay so our project is finished if you see we have a main directory created for us right and we have a java and here in this uh give me one second okay awesome everything works fine right yeah we have a build out gradle so let's start quickly let's add the dependencies so i have written down in my notes what you need to do is first first of all you need to change in the build out gradle what you need to change so basically you can write uh, we we are using one something called as a plugin okay uh let's dismiss uh okay so uh, let's go back where we need to go back yeah here uh, we in this only we are using java right but we need to use another dependency so i'm going to add some plugin uh quickly okay and just remove this you don't need this okay uh here nothing has changed only the thing that we are adding is couple of dependencies of uh j unit so j unit 5.0 uh, i'm going to we're going to use a latest one so we are using 5.7 we have added the cucumber dependency vintage uh, j unit support also we have added we have added rest assured we have added json in this okay so all the things have added now we need to add something called as runner okay and where we can add runner here awesome so guys after adding this just make sure uh, where it is okay so you can go to the gradle and uh, just refresh it and so that it will add the dependency so if you see right now it's adding the dependency right meanwhile let's create the uh, folder structure for us okay okay all right uh, so we will add uh, one thing which is called as runner so we require runner first of all uh let's add add a package quickly runner and this will be a java class we're going to name it as let's say test runner right and this runner class basically what if you see right we are basically configuration we are providing the configuration related to the uh 
वट वी कॉल क्यूक्यूम्बा राइट सो बेसिकली वट वी आर सेंग इफ से टेस्ट रहना टेस्ट रहना राइट so what we are saying is that uh, we have feature files will be available here source test resources and feature files so 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 now it's a time let me explain you about the feature files and all okay what will happen we have uh, something called as feature files so here you will write your test cases in plain so this will be your plain english okay plain english make sense so you will write your test cases in a plain english and that we will we will have to basically glue, glue this all we call is uh, glue this with the code and here you will write your code so code here code will be here so whenever you say given this when this then this this is actually executing the code behind the scene and who is executing it this test runner tr right this tr we have written it here and where we have mentioned that feature files are available this this is the feature file f and this is a code so we have told them feature file is available in this folder glue definitions are available in this folder and dry run is true and we are using cucumber plugins clear very clear i think it's very basic right so let me reiterate again we are basically saying feature files we have a code files they are glued together and they are run together by tr okay so tr is this feature files will be present here and code will be also available here that's it that's simple test that's it okay awesome uh all right so let's uh, let me uh, let let's import add library it will add the library it will take a time okay let's do one thing meanwhile we have told them that we will be adding feature files in the resources right so there will be source test resources so source source test resources here we will add the what we call let's let's make a directory we call it feature files okay here we will have a feature files here okay now where we will have the test we have told them they will be available in the step dot the definitions and where is this step dot definition is available it is available in test okay so package first we need to create a step in step we will have a definition definitions okay now cool so this is a feature file this is a definition so feature file this is the code definition is nothing but a code this is a test runner that's it that's it you need to do to add integration of rest assured with cucumber okay now you just need to write your test cases here write your feature files here okay guys one more thing uh, you need to add something called as uh, this cucumber options in the build old gradle also so here we are basically saying that output directory will be this and the for reporting purpose we will be using this json okay so in the make sure in build old gradle uh, we can delete this thing all the things in the build old gradle we are doing it. and just click on this uh, small uh, elephant so it will build successfully okay and here we will just uh, make sure that our libraries are add, add to the class path on okay awesome uh, so i have made myself smaller here okay uh, guys just make sure you add uh, implementation node test implementation test implementation basically means uh, you will not able to use cucumber options uh, here in the main java only in the test folder okay so make sure you replace with the implementation then it will work fine and you will face you will see that our runner class is ready right now we just need to write our feature files now so let's write our feature file first awesome uh, let's create a new what we call it uh, let's get, call it a file okay and i'm going to call it uh, what we call rest rest api let's call it give me one second where is my yeah rest api uh, post dot feature okay make sure you add the feature here right and here you can write feature and here now you can write scenario okay we're going to use something called a scenario outline because we're going to uh, pass some parameters also right now again this all the details are available uh, in the three videos that i have told you to watch right so here the feature is basically uh, let's say verify the get 
uh, get post these are posts post in the in the api okay now we'll write the story outline story outline will be let's say get get all posts from the api okay you're gonna write this now let's say we will say given get call to all where we want to make a request so we'll say this is url given this then we will basically check that response is what is the response we'll say status code and here we can write something called as example example for this okay and this is uh, this character that you need to use here you need to mention what is it so url and we'll say status code just uh, bear with me guys i'm going to explain you all this in a minute so url will be posts and this one will be uh, 200 okay 